Happy Floss Tube friends! My name is Carrie. This is Target Lily Designs. Welcome to Floss Tube episode number 51. It is not Floss Tube Friday. Don't worry, your calendar's not wrong. It is Tuesday, January 24th, and I'm here for a surprise midweek Tiger Lily update. Why is that? Well, I missed last Friday and I'll give you details as to why, but I did want to come on here. I could not wait till this Friday to give you the details on my new birthday sal start. So without further ado, let's dig in. So like I mentioned, I am going to give you the final decision. We talked last time about the three finalists that were in the running for my birthday start here at the end of the month and the decision has been made and I have kitted it up. Of course, did a Tiger Lily custom color conversion because it wouldn't be me if I didn't. And I have custom fabric, all the things. So I'm gonna show you all the details. You've got a full week that is going to be so fun. I hope you're going to join me. I've done some stitching um, on another project. I'll give you some updates. I will give you just a little bit of a teaser regarding the Keeper Club box. And then I have the giveaway winners from last floss tube. So this is going to be short and sweet because I will hopefully come back this Friday and give you a longer drawn out carry update. But I could not wait to tell you the what we're going to do for the birthday star. Now, if you were here, 10 days or so ago, you saw that there were three finalists for running in the running for the Tiger Lily birthday star. It has to be a funky floral style. If you don't know, I did Mary Morgan's last year, Fox and Rabbit, Mary Morgan's love her. So she is hanging in my dining room ready for a friend. So I had to, that was the rules. It had to be big, huge, big girls. I do big girls for my birthday. And they had to be able to hang, hold their own when they're, they're hanging next to Miss Mary. So without further ado, if you do get my Tiger Lily newsletter, you already know I sent a little teaser out, I think on Sunday, um, and sent a little newsletter. If you don't get my newsletter down below, you can describe, I'm not like a spammer. Maybe once a month I send a newsletter. Nobody's got time really to send the newsletters. So it's kind of like just a little jam it all in. But on Sunday, I did let you guys know what chart got chosen. And I know my sweet friend, Jessica from Sweetwater Stitcher teased you guys and showed, told you guys about it last week. I'm so excited she's joined in. She's already kitted it up. So exciting. So without further ado, the winner. It's not a winner. I'm so excited. Like, can I wait a week? I will. Show restraint, I promise, and wait a week to stitch. January 31st, a week from today is when I'm going to start. You can start whenever you want, but that is my birthday start. So this is my birthday start. It's Harriet Hay by Mill on the Floss Samplers. So gorgeous. All right, let me grab my glasses, give you a little bit of the details in case you don't know. Miss Harriet Hay is 237 by 286. Let me zoom in just a little bit. We've got some natural light coming in. Hopefully that's not blowing out for you, but oh my gosh, this house and these trees, this funky bird and this funky bird and that funky rooster and these flower pods that are symmetric, but they're not. I mean, what is not to love about this sampler? And not only do I love the sampler, gorgeous. It's charted in Auvers Soise and DMCs. There's about 20 colors. I would count, but you're not going to sit here and watch me count to 20, 20 ish. Um, but what's super awesome is there's also a lovely story. She did all the history. I don't want to show you the chart. Lots of history on Miss Harriet Hay, which is so exciting. So fun. You can actually like think and stitch with her. I mean, so much research that, um, went into her. And the other thing I do want to show you without showing you too much is it's a beautiful booklet and the charting, it's full color chart. Let me just, let me just show you because this really, it was one of the factors. See, beautiful, beautiful, so easy. Don't need your glasses to read the chart. Love it. All right. So a couple things about the chart before we dig into what I did to change her. Um, so we talked about last time I was kidding them up. So I kitted her all up to start with all the DMCs. I went and I got pulled both from my stash and from my LNS. I went and I grabbed all the DMCs. Well, newsflash, 305. 305 doesn't exist. 
So I contacted Mill and the Fall Samplers and I, and, cause I looked all over the website and I said, um, so what, uh, chart correction, help, help. And so she was so sweet. She got back to me like lickety split and she says, oh my goodness, thank you so much. It's supposed to be 350. So not 305, 350, um, in DMC. Perfect. So she, I think she now has put a color correction notation on her website. But so note that. So second, there's two ways you can get this chart. You can get this in paper form from a couple different stores. LNS, last time I checked, one, two, three had had some, one, two, three stitch had some. Just you know, put Harry Hey 1809 into your favorite shops and see if you can grab her. But if they you can't find, put your hands on a hard copy and you are team PDF, good news for you. You can go directly to a mill in the floss samplers and download the PDF right now. Like perfect. So lots of options and ways to get the chart so you can join the fun with us. No problem. Don't worry if you decide you want to get a paper chart and it's going to take you a little bit of time to get it. No worries. As you can see, this big girl is going to be around a while. So no worries on you catching up on that. So we've got, that's the chart. I'm so excited to start her. So now let's talk about colors, shall we? First, let's talk about fabric. So if you're new here, welcome. I have, I'm an Ada stitcher, so everything I stitch, whether it's a historical reproduction sampler or something fun and funky, it's always on Ada. Um, I just can't see the linen and I want to enjoy my stitching, and so Ada is my jam. Now, I will stitch anywhere from 14 count to 20 count Ada, um, so as long as I have good lighting. So I do run the, the gamut of, you know, fat to skinny, fat to small, small to big, all the different sizes of Ada, but I do have a couple, I love the hand dyed Ada. And my friend Sue from LFA Linens is one of my favorite hand dyed Adas. I'm trying to think, I think all my big girls right now, I've got two other historical samplers that are gonna go on the walls with Mary that are also in LFA Linens, um, Ada. Even though her, the business is called LFA Linens, but don't get confused, it's Ada fabric. It is confusing, but it's not. Um, so I was talking with Sue and I said, oh, should I do that? Of course, like I have, all, so the, where you can get the Ada, where you can get the linen, the Ada and the linen, she does both colors. She does both fabrics in all the colors, Woo! is from my friend Rachel at Treehouse Fiber Arts. I will link them all down below. They have a cute floss toss, uh, floss tube channel. If you want to see Sue and Rachel, they talk about once every two weeks, give you all the updates. Stitching is beautiful. Um, they also knit. It's like, just, you're welcome. You need to add them to your favorites, to your little bell notification for floss tubes for sure. Moral of the story is, Miss Harriet is going on my favorite LFA Linens and the colorway is Boston Tea Party. So the colorway is Boston Tea Party. I knew that that was, I pulled, I wanted to say, I did a floss toss, let's just be real. I did a floss toss with the colors, with the DMC colors. Um, I have Popover, Dunes, Boston Tea Party, Covered Bridge, like they have all these beautiful sampler colors. And I, I might have a piece of each one, <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, so I did a little floss toss with all of them, and I decided that Boston Tea Party was just, it, they married so well with the colors, and so I was so excited. So the next step was then me choosing which fabric I wanted, 14, 16, 18, or 20. Um, I'm just, I'm letting you, letting you in, behind the scenes, look behind the curtain of how, the, how Tiger Lily, how Carrie makes these decisions. It's, it's may not be interesting. But so the great thing about this chart, super sweet, is that she gives us fabric sizes. So of 45, 45 count, gosh, bless your eyes, 40, 36, and 32. So, you know, she decides you're not going to go to 28 because then that thing was going to be a monster. Um, not, not bad, actually. So if you think Miss Mary by Mary was on a 16 count. And so with 16 count, I used two strands of floss. And so originally my thought was, well, mm, so my other two big girls, um, 
Felicia and Lucy, which I did not bring to show you, but Lucy Calcutt is on 18 count and Miss Felicia is on 20 count. So both of those are one strand stitches, ones with RFL floss and ones with the DMCs, but they're one strand. So one strand is not only one strand, which is also easier to stitch with, but it's also, it's a little bit tinier, little bit like my eyes have to be a little bit fresher to start stitching. At least that's how, you know, listen, if I can't see linen, you know my eyes are still struggling. Struggle is real. And so when it gets to 18 and 20 count, like I can't do it for too long or too late into the night because it just, it starts to hurt and strain and no fun. And so my thinking behind the Harriet Hay was the, the count was, okay, so it's my birthday stitch. I want to love picking her up every day, all day. And so I knew I needed her on a bigger count because that way it just like flows like butter. It's just, I don't have to think about it. There's nowhere, it's not gonna even begin to strain my eyes. The two strands floss was a little bit of a struggle because I do love a one strand. Um, I almost did an RFL floss conversion to go to the 12 weight, like the Prairie Schooler ornaments I did on 16 count, 12 weight, one strand. Love that, but I just, I, I couldn't do it. And so I could have done it. I didn't do it um, because it, there were just too many colors. And I don't, to be honest with you, you want to know why I didn't do it? It's because I don't have a source to go and look and touch and feel and put all the colors together without actually just buying all the colors. I don't have all 300 colors of RFL floss. Sure do wish I could. I mean, I'm an RFL artist and you'd think that they want to send, but they don't. They did not send me their entire color collection. So I couldn't do a floss, toss, pull, or go somewhere and do floss, toss, pull so that the colors I knew. And so I just didn't want to, anyway, the moral of the story, really, and the roundabout story was that we are doing this, I am doing this on 16 count Boston Tea Party. Let's just look and a, hold on, I put a pin. It took me a while. Like I had to, the modeling is, it's beautiful, gorgeous. So I went like this and I went like this. Like I auditioned, I spun it around for a while to figure out what motif, what's going to be where. Like I did a, probably a little, little OCD-ish, a little, little overthinking but I'm gonna be stitching this for at least half the year and I want it to be as perfect as I want. So you can see I have this little light bulb pin. This marks the top and it's this side cause you can do both sides too. So this is the top, let my lap up. This is the top of my stitching fabric. 16 count Boston Tea Party Ada LFA linens. So my sweet friend, Sue, sent it to me for my birthday. Thank you, Sue. And not only did she send me a piece, she sent Rachel 10 yards of it. Now, this was a few days ago, and I'll be honest, I do believe Rachel sent out a newsletter, and so it might all be gone by now. I hope not, but it might not be. So I will link her down below if you want to stitch on the same fabric that I'm stitching on. Rachel did have 10 yards. Now... On 16 count, the fabric sizes, the design is 15 by 18 and a quarter. So, what did I do? My fabric is 21 by 24. So you wanna go ahead and get a fat half. I think that's how she's got them um, bagged on her side is fat half. You are gonna be able to cut it down a little bit, but a fat quarter is the margins are gonna be just a smidge too tight. Unless, I mean, you do you. It's a smidge too tight. The design, like I said, is going to measure 15 by 18. So it will fit with really, really, really tiny margins. Really too tiny for small. Well, I mean, like I said, you do you. But I would think you'd be safer with getting a fat half and having extra, because it's perfect for little ornaments and little smalls. Like I cut down my fat half and now I've got some of the other sm small pieces ready to go for some ornament starts later on <sighs> because it's just such a gorgeous color. I wanna hold it back here because this is what's giving you the much 
the truer color. Anyway, Boston Tea Party. So now, now let's deep dive into the floss colors. So like I said, first what I did is I kitted it up in DMC. Gorgeous, lots of colors in the DMC. But what I decided is that I wanted a little more bang for my buck on these deep, small patches, or I'm sorry, on these full coverage chunks of color, like the grass, like the house, like these little lemon, orange trees. I don't know what that, like this tree. That's all one color, all one color. So I wanted to do just a little, I love the variegation. I love that the movement that over dyed floss gives you when you can actually use it on tiny little stitches on tiny little areas. Like, you know, this little bird, you're not going to really appreciate it. You're not going to get your bang for the buck. So what I did, it's a little exhaustive actually, is I went, made a copy. And I identified one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I identified nine colors. You can see this is the DMC. I just cut like a little two inch tab off. I wrote down the number. So I identified nine colors after looking at the chart and seeing where they go and seeing who does what. I identified three color, nine colors. Yeah, I identified nine colors that would be that you get the most bang for your buck if you changed those to DMC. Or I'm sorry, if you changed those from DMC to Overdyne. Obvious, let me just tell you, some of them were obviously the house, all that red, like movement in the red house, the green grass. I pointed out these two trees, the borders, the red, the green, and the gold border for sure. Um, and to be honest, the border actually has two shades Okay, I don't wanna to dig too much into what I did, but I am gonna show you right here. So screenshot, take a picture. I will eventually get a blog post up on my blog and link all the color conversions for you so you don't have to take a screenshot. But for the time being, the best way to get my color conversion is to have taken a picture right there. Um, so you, as you can see, so all the DMCs are these big numbers, right? This, these are my project information tracker cards. If you're new here, I sell these on my website. The link is down below. You get them in packages of 10 or 50. Um, but I use these in all of my projects. It gives me the name, the designer, the fabric, my start date, size, and then it lets me know. So then like a couple of years from now, when I'm like, I don't know what I did, I can reference back what I did. So you can see the DMC numbers put my glasses on. I don't even begin to read this stuff. So the DMC, here's all the numbers. Those are all the called for DMCs. They are six, eight, 20 colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20 colors. There's only 15 boxes. So you can see I haven't, oh, anyway, 20 colors. And I changed more than nine. Yeah, I know. Um, because I changed more than nine because I went to my LNS and I kind of let a little went a little bonkers. If you saw my story, it was last Saturday. I was treating myself to a little lunchtime break during Keeper Club Crazy Frenzy Sewathon weekend. Um, I did a lunch break. My LNS is right here in Mount Vernon, Virginia. It's literally seven minutes away from here, so it was the perfect half time break for me to go and pull. And the funniest thing is I'm sitting on the floor with my papers, right? I'm sitting on the floor at the LNS because the, the thread wall is from here, up here, all the way down to the floor. So to do a color conversion, you basically have to sit on the floor to do it. And so I'm sitting on the floor doing a color conversion and I have my papers. I didn't bring my chart because I had bought it there and I didn't want there to be any confusion. So I brought my chart and I was trying to figure out, okay, what do I want for the... So I'm like, oh, Harriet, hey, I'm starting that too. Have you gotten the salon on floss too? So I'm wearing a mask. You can't see I got my hair. And it's so adorable. Love it. Anyway, so now let's talk about what colors I actually did choose. Okay, like I mentioned, I went a little bonkers. Do, you do not have to go bonkers. I identified the ones, that, there were only nine that I thought I needed to, um, but I went ahead and I changed the two pinks too. So let's just talk about what I did change. So the one color, house. The house, this red is, also, is the house and it's the red border flowers. So that red had to be variegated. And so what red did I make that? Instead of... 498. I am using Ruby Slipper. Now let me see. Of 
course, I did not bring any kind of, I did take my fabric with me though, so that I wanted to make sure that everything played nice on my beautiful Boston tee. So there is Ruby's slipper. <laughs> okay, do you see the red house? Do you see? And the movement, that's why I just feel like the overdyes, it's just so much worth it. At least in those big chunks of color, I think are worth it for me. DMC is beautiful. Miss Mary is stitched in 100% DMC and I love her every day when we sit at the table and eat our dinner and I see her. So listen, I love it all. But this is what I chose for the house and the red border. Um, let's see what else I did just to show you a couple of the choices that I made in case you want to join me in some choices. So that's the red one. All right, so the yellow border. So you can see, hold on. In the chart, there are the, there's only one yellow, or it's a gold. What color is it? It's called old gold. Um, and because it's used so much, I wanted to brighten it up. So, so not only did I want the variegation, after looking at some of the called for colors, if you don't know, I like color a little bit. And I wanted to brighten her up just a smidge. <gasps> Okay, so then this is the gold I chose. It's, called, it's Harvest Moon by Gast. Oh my gosh, so pretty, 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 pretty. Literally, the people at the thread store were probably like, what is she doing? Because I was made a mess on the floor Saturday afternoon. Listen, I didn't care. I bought it all. We're good. Um, let's see. The, the grass. What did I change the grass to? That was one of those things. I must have pulled up five different colors to change the grass. Okay. Okay. First of all, yeah, I might have chosen this color just because of what it's called. It might have, that might be why it won. Maybe not, but I just, first of all, let me show it to you and then I'll tell you what it's called. Look at that beautiful gray. It, it has a lot of, it goes from dark to light, lots of very heavy um, variegation, which is perfect for grass, right? I mean, at least my grass is like all different shades of green. This is from Weeks and it's called Monkey Grass. Is that not hilarious? Hilarious. All right, so let me just tell you one other. So I did a couple, there were two other reds in the chart. Um, you think that there's only one red, but there's actually three reds. And so the other two I pulled from just my floss wall just to stick with, I was going to just use the DMC, but ribbon red and tomato are two more reds that I pulled. And so the pinks, there are two shades of pink in this chart. Like I said, I wanted to brighten her up and give her a little pop. The pinks that are called for are a little more mauve pink versus hey if you don't know love me some pink so i wanted to give her a little bit of a brighter pop of pink and so the two shades there they are of course they're not together on my ring but let me just show you so one pink this is the brighter lighter pink there's two shades one's like a darker one and one's a lighter one and like I said, they were more mauve in the called for DMCs. Maybe not in the Rivera Swaz, but in the called for DMCs, they were a little too mauve for me. One is, this is called Weeks, and it's Camilla. And then, oh, I love this one. And then the brighter pink is actually from Gentle Arts, and it's called Pomegranate. So pretty. All right, so... Like I said, here's my floss ring. It is not pretty. It is ready to go. It's ready to work. So you can see I do have some of my bobbinated DMCs. The browns, listen, it's like it's a tree trunk. The one thing that, the only color change, so everything else I did was staying in the realm, in the color family that it was charted for, just brightening it up a little bit because I'm, that's, just who I am. I wanted to brighten her up a little bit, but the only thing that I did change that I thought just didn't, the color called for did not match the cover. And of course, listen, I'm drawn to the cover. So let's talk about it real quick. This, the vine, the vine and the tree on the, let me see, the border, the border and the vine. This, this tree right here, doesn't that look green to you? 
And so that color is also the vine that goes all the way around. So there's two greens in the border. There's the stem that attaches the flower buds and then there's the vine. But it's also the same color as this tree. Okay, that looks green to me, green. In the chart, in the, in the DMC, when I pulled the DMC, it was brown. Now I can get on board with some brown when you need it, but a whole tree, not this brown, it was this one. This one I also changed to green. But this one was supposed to be brown. And the vines. It was called for, let me just, let me tell you what number it is. It is number, oh, hold please, Z, 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 Z. Mocha brown medium. Mocha brown medium, I mean, that's what she called it. But in the picture, it's green. So, I changed it to green. Um, so that's the only one where when I did my color conversion, I did not change it to the same family, brighten her up. I totally went broke. So my greens, like I said, that was mocha brown. So that was 3032. I changed that to gassed avocado. And then the other leaf that's on the border is grape leaf. So these are the two greens that are going to be in my border and some of the trees and they play so nicely with my red and gold anyway and there's my monkey grass too so they're like i said i just brightened her up just a smidge but that's miss harriet hey i'm so excited okay so friends before we move on I have two hashtags, the Harriet Hay Sal and the Tiger Lily B-Day Sal. So hopefully if you're joining, I would love for you to not only tag at Tiger Lily Designs, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram, use the hashtag, follow along, I'm so excited. Now I can't show you the project keeper that she, I'm keeping my birthday Sal in because it might just be the Keeper Club box exclusive design keeper. So I can't show you yet, but it's coming. Hopefully, um, wasn't that, not this Friday, cause they won't all be received. I've been checking the tracking. Um, so they actually shipped out yesterday. They weren't supposed to ship out until tomorrow, the 25th. That was my drop dead date, but they actually got to the mailboxes, to the UPS and the up store Monday afternoon. So they're on their way to you. The Keeper Club box is out and I'm so excited. So I can't show you this Friday because they won't all be received by then, but the following Friday, I can show you, do a little um, unboxing and show you the whole box. So, but that is my birthday sal. Stitch, start. I'm gonna share it. I hope you join. I love Miss Harriet. Like I said, there's lots of different places you can grab her, whether you want the chart or the PDF or use the DMC or the swap, or pull from lots of things so this one is really really friendly i think for you to be able to pull from your stash because there's three reds and three greens and and a gold so it's not crazy colors there are 20 colors if you want to stay if you want to do like i take a picture and follow do with me or make your own i love making my own i love seeing you make your own i'm excited for this stitch okay so that is my birthday style stitch two things of haul just because when i was at the the local needle workshop on Saturday. I couldn't, I always have to peruse. You walk into my shop and they have the what's new like spinners. And you just gotta spin them. I mean, like I was, I went in there for on a mission. I was not there for anything else. I had a, a time limit because I had to come back to sewing. But um, I did treat myself to a spin around <laughs> the what's new spinner. And so I did get myself have you seen this? You have to have seen it by now. But this 2023 Collector's Heart by Heart and Hand. Okay, first of all, it has the Cottage Garden threads, which I love from um, the Autumn Palette Garden Club thing that we did. These threads, this variegation, I loved it. Um, I don't know where else you get them besides like Australia and in one of these exclusive little kits. But I love that she threw that flat. So that's really what sold me on it. I mean, the pattern's adorable. Love it. Um, cute little Valentine small. I should stitch it up real quick. And of course, so I went and I saw this. This was on the new spinner. And then my store had 
all of the collector's hearts previous years in this cute little basket that was kind of a little close to the thread wall. So I might have perused the basket and picked one more. I showed huge restraint. Maybe not. But they had, she had from like 213, not all of them. There was missing a year, like here, there. Um, but she had a lot of them. And so I decided, well, if I'm going to have one collector's heart, I can't just have a dough bowl. I still don't have my dough bowl. But I, I can't just have this little pillow vignette. I need at least two. So I went and I grabbed out of the one. I told myself, okay, you can pick one. Which one do you like to go? So I thought this one was adorable. I belong to you, sweetheart. That is just the sweetest. So this one comes with the fabric and the little beads and the buttons. Um, besides that super heavy um, red heart, it should stitch up pretty quick. But this one doesn't come with the floss. But I, then I was thinking, if there's enough floss that red, I could use that for the red and they kind of match and coordinate. Anyway, spare time, we'll see. But that's my little mini haul <laughs> with all my um, fancy floss that I got from Miss Harriet when I was there. So real quick, before I show you the other thing I stitched on, and then we'll just I'll let you go for today and I'll see you on Friday, so don't fret. I have lots of stuff on Friday because I might have went a little bonkers when I was dropping Lily off at college. But let's, um. Let me do the giveaway winners because I do want to get these out to you like pronto so you can get hopefully stitching on them and get these out for your Valentine's. So if you remember, we had three giveaways last week. And so one of them is this Be Mine pattern from Annabella's. And the word you had to use was heart. And my friend, Miss Ruth Coons, congratulations. And then we had this felt hanging kit so cute everything was inside this was donated by my friend linda this is the word love and my friend annie poe congratulations and last but not least this super sweet heartstring samplery little fairy this was donated by my sweet friend pam so sweet i do i love just so you know. How do I remember all that? Don't think I remember it all. Whenever anybody sends me something, like if you have charts that you don't use or send or you want to pass the, pass the stash, I would love to help you. And I do, when I get them, I, I make a note so that, you know, I appreciate you. And then the person that, you know, will just keep it going and, and share the love, right? And so this was donated by my friend Pam this summer. Um, so I put the who and when, and so I can remember and give her thanks. So the sweet, this was a sweet little fairy chart by Heartstring Samplery, and you had to use the word fairy. And my friend, Lana Rowe, congratulations. So my three winners, if you are one of the winners from this week's giveaway, my information is down below. Just send me an email saying, hi, my name is, and I won your giveaway, and give me your mailing address, and I will get these in the mail like lickety spit. So that is the giveaways. One last thing I do want to say thank you. Oh my goodness. So I received, I've been doing, I've been like MIA kind of on Instagram. A, because what I've been working on has been the Keeper Club for the past couple of weeks. And there were, didn't want to have any spoilers. So I didn't really share a lot of what I was doing because if I did, I'd be ruining the surprise, right? And so I haven't been sharing, but I did share a little bit, um, and my to friend. my friend Terry, who utilized my buy me a coffee link down in the bottom of my videos. I use that down there in case you guys want to support the channel in different ways. Terry sent me a sweet message saying, treat yourself some, some coffees while I was busy, busy, busy sewing on the Keeper Club. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you bet your bottom dollar, I did get myself some coffee and chocolate to get those keeper clubs out. Um, I did want to just show you one other thing. Like I said, I have been crazy. Keeper club has taken over the entire world, but I did get a little bit of stitching time in because after a 12 or 15 hour day at the sewing machine, I wasn't ready to go to bed yet. I needed to decompress and I can't just watch TV and not do anything. So what I did is I have pulled out, trying to stay caught up. This one is a big one, like for reals. Um, we shall see, cause January is almost over. So does that give you a clue as to what I'm talking about? So sweet, the Fox and Rabbit 2023 mystery stitch along is called Royal Gardens. First of all, 
Love that. This is a free chart. First of all, I still am in awe that this is, a, that they do this for free. I mean, I can't even. So, um, but that's a big stitch. That's January. You're supposed to get that whole little section done in January. And I've shown you, I think this is going to be my second update. So I did get some stitching in and I'll be honest, most of this might've been last night because it was after I think took things to the post office. I decided I'm going to sit here and stitch for hours and hours and hours. And I did. I love this so much. Okay, so let me give you the details in case you're like, oh my gosh, what is that? That is, it's not really a lot of details, is it? So 2023 Royal Sal, Fox and Rabbit, it's on 18 count Dunes at Dusk from LFA Linens. Um, and I'm using a hand-dyed silk from Mo's Sale. So I, buy a, I bought a hank of this silk. She does floss sales every Saturday in a Facebook group. I've linked her a couple times and you buy a hank and it's beautiful colors. And I've got my sweet little, my sweet friend Sarah made me this beautiful bling. And of course I put it on my upcycle playing card, floss drops. Um, and then there's the Mo's sale, but I link her down below. So I'm using, it's a colorway called Rosie. It's just basically a super variegated, heavy pink. You can choose anything you want. That's the cool thing about this, this stitch along is it's make your own color. They, they don't chart the colors. They, you know, obviously the artwork is done in blue, but that doesn't mean anything. You can do it in whatever you want. So there's some people that are in the Facebook group that are actually like coloring each flower. It's so fantastic. Um, but I wanted a one color stitch in pink because it's one of my signature colors and it's going to hang in my studio and I can't wait. So I just love, A, I love this fabric. Let me make sure, are you in the, yeah. I love the fabric, Dunes at Dusk. Hold on, are you getting a little bit of shadow? So yeah, I don't want you to get the shadow from, but Dunes at Dusk, it is beautiful. And the variegation on this pink silk is perfection. Um, I love this one color stitches because then I don't have to change. I showed you guys this before. Oh, there are some loaded. Um, I load six needles up at a time because it's one strand, 18 count. I'm using one strand over one because it's Ada. Um, so what I do is I load up six needles, throw them in there. This is my little magnet box. And that way it's all loaded, ready to go. And then I just stitch, stitch, stitch. Usually I try to finish, it's like a strand a day type of thing. It's perfect for a strand a day if you wanted to do six and strand a day. But obviously last night in, in mid strand, I decided, okay, that was the end of that time to go to bed. But that's the update as to where I am with Royal Gardens. Now, do I have any? Do I think I'll make it before the end? I've got one more week until January is over. Yeah, and I still have this flower and all of this. I, I don't I don't know. The urn was easy. I know it's a lot of stitching, but once I did that, it was just like fill in, mindless fill in. That was late Saturday night, I think. Um, mindless fill in, love that. All right, friends, that is it. All the things. It's mainly about Harriet. Let's just be honest. I'm so excited. I, I'm thinking, I don't want to spoil it because I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do, but I, I am my friends that are joining. Are you excited? I'm excited. So let's do this together. Miss Harriet, slow and steady. It's not a race. You've got plenty of time to catch up. If you want to get started and join in the fun, um, that is what I have for you today, friends. Like I said, it is Tuesday. So bonus, or actually I'm super late for Friday because I will be here this next Friday because I'm on the table. I have, oops, sorry, I shake the table. I do have some knitting haul. Spoiler, my sweater's done. It's not blocked. I'm hoping to get it blocked. Anyway, lots of things to share this Friday. Maybe a table runner quilt along, maybe some more knitting, maybe some more stitching. You don't know, but I will be here on Friday, friends. That's it. Happy stitching.